this morning, we've been helping you kick off 2019 with a little less stress. From technology to getting enough sleep, Carlos is here again talking about the important balance between work and your family yes. life. And this is uh, tricky to do. For yeah, some it really is tricky. When you, it's, it's actually got a term, work-life relationship okay. and work-life okay. balance. And how do you say, okay, here's work. And here's the rest of my life, whether it be family, friends, relationships. How do you balance the two? Well, I found one woman in Indianapolis who has made it her goal in 2019 to really balance work and life. I want to have a better work-life balance in 2019 um, because I want to dedicate a little bit more time to my family and my friends, my boyfriend, his daughter, and I'd really like to find a way to progress my career, but at the same time, progress my family life too. Christina Plank started her new job in 2018, and she loved it, but she found that it quickly engulfed her entire life. It has been a little bit of a challenge for me to leave work on time because the type of work I do is, is never really finished, and so I found that I'm lacking a little bit of time at home and a little bit of energy at home. Christina has spoken to her boss about setting small goals to balance her work-life experience in 2019. I think that my main goal is probably to leave work on time and try to leave work at work and leave home at home. So I have actually made a goal of trying to leave work on time about three times a week to start as a, as a small goal. And Christina understands that there are no short-term fixes when it comes to reducing your stress levels at work. Achieving work-life balance is, is more of, instead of achievement, it's more of a practice. You know, I like to, to think of it as something I'm always trying to progress towards. Whereas Christina's schedule in 2018 was basically work, gym, sleep, and then back to work, family is now the number one aspect of her life in 2019. So is she happier? Absolutely, yes. I feel a lot less stressed because I feel like reached out to family members I haven't spoke to in a long time, reorganized my house, my environment, and I feel like I'm thinking more for the future. Christina wanted to, you know, uh, reemphasize that she loves her job. Mm -hmm. I mean, she and, she, and, sure. and that's the reason she got in trouble because she loved it so much she didn't know how to say no to it. Right. And so she's taken. She took the first week of 2019 off as a message to say 2019 is going to be different. Yeah. I'm going to focus more on 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 her family than on work. And she said that she's really happier and she's really feeling like she's more organized and less stressed in the new year. Got to do it. Yeah, the thing is you can still be a great employee and be mm -hmm. dedicated to your job, Carlos, but then be able to go home and see your kids, see your family and think, you know what, this is their time now. Right. I gave it my all during the day right. at work. Now I get to enjoy them. And have that mature conversation with your boss. Your boss is going to get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You know, with, rather than like not having the conversation and then pulling your hair out and screaming yeah. during the day, just have that conversation. I want to have more work-life balance. Yeah. Likely your boss is trying to do the same thing. <laughs> So they'll point. definitely That's understand. Point, yeah. So great yeah. to help here yeah. today. Thanks so much.